Hi, my name is Molly Peterson. And I'm Siobhan Chantikian. Welcome to our Gapminder video. We chose to focus on two specific variables, one being the mean years in school for ages 15 to 44. Of woman. Yes. <laughs> and the other being income per person. So we put the mean years of school of woman in here because we wanted to make it explain the income. And as you can see here, one sec, please, um, that the mean years in school tend to increase the income over a bunch of years. Okay, so we are going to focus on three specific countries, one being India, Russia, and the United States. So if we play that from the beginning, you can see their pattern. As you can see, the circles represent like each country, and the circles get bigger and smaller depending on their population. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, that uh, United States stays fairly high <laughs> with the income. With the income. And India starts out really, really low but still increases a fair amount over a long period of time. To be specific, we can see that India in the 1950s, or sorry, 1970s, started at one year on average and has gone up to five years on average. And um, we can make an extrapolation guess or outside of this year. So beyond 2009 that the education has increased because of the right of ed to education act which makes public school available for free and required by law so we can guess that it would increase even further okay and we see that russia takes a dip in the 1990s right here um, and that's because it was changing governments from a communist dictatorship into a multi-party democracy. And once they adjusted to the new format of government, they quickly increased their income right back to where they, a little higher than where they started. As stated before, the United States ha is pretty wealthy compared to other countries, but we still have had a pretty steady increase for our income and an increase in the mean number of years for women in school. So that is great for our country. Overall, we can tell that the two variables, the mean years in school for women and income per person, ha are dependent to each other because they correlate and they have a positive slope for the regression line.